Welcome to the next lesson of TIA Portal and S71200. TIA stands for Total Integrated Automation. In this lesson, we'll understand, what are the various features of TIA. Then we'll define a simple project. After that, in the portal view of TIA, we'll create a project. Then in the project view, we'll see how configure and program our PLC. And how download or test our program. Finally we'll have a summary. The word TIA is short for Totally Integrated Automation. But what can we do with this software? Firstly, we can program some Siemens company controllers and monitoring devices. Such as our controller and this basic panel. These are basic devices in industrial automation. Also we can set network connections of these two with TIA. Because these two devices, support LAN cable, like this one. So, these devices support Ethernet network. And we can make their connection just with a LAN cable and TIA software. Let's see what are other features of TIA software. Each industrial has its special requirements. For PLC stations, there are many modules which can be chosen and used according the requirements. Also we can program our drives, using drive and motion integration plugins which are in TIA software. We don't need any extra software for that. It may be need to have more secure access to PLC or to HMI by allocating some password, which TIA software can do it for our devices. And the last is diagnostic. Various alarms and errors can be considered in the software or can be monitored. So, the TIA software, it's a total integral automation which can be used to program both HMIs and PLC, using all these features, that's wonderful to do many things in automation industry just with a platform. Let's define a simple project and then do it with our PLC and TIA software. Here you see a industrial circuit in EKTS, which is a software to simulate simple industrial circuits. At first, the power can't pass through these normally open switch and contact, thus the K contactor will be off. As the same way, the three-phase motor will be off. If the start bottom is pressed, the electrical voltage reach to this contactor and then their contacts are closed. Then electrical power can reach to three-phase motor and turn it on. If I release the start bottom, the motor stay on. Because of this contact. And if I press the stop bottom, the contactor, and then the motor will be stopped. Let's test it again. As you see, usually industrial circuits have two parts, power circuit and control circuit. Power circuits are simple, but their voltage are high, 220 volt or higher. In other side, voltage of control circuits is low, but usually there are a lot of sensor, switch, timer and etc. which make complexity in their wiring. Here, PLCs help us to have their logic in a CPU with a simple wiring. Now, you see another industrial circuit on the right side. This circuit has two control and power parts too. But at this circuit, a PLC is used in control part. PLC model is CPU 1212 CDC slash DC slash DC, with this article number of Siemens company. Like first circuit, here are two switches in PLC input, and a contactor in PLC output with the same power circuit in the right side. Our project is to programs this PLC to turn on three phase motor base on left circuit logic. To do this project, we're going to write this program in CPU. Like write control circuit, this program has a normally close contact to stop, a normally open to start, and an output with its normally open contact. But, how can we change state of these contacts in CPU? Pay attention to PLC wiring and its program. The start contact with I0.0 .0 address in our program, will change to close, if S1 switch is pressed, and 24 volt DC reach to PLC input, with I0.0 .0 address. Similarly, state of stop contact with I0.2 address, will change to open, if S2 switch is pressed, 
and 24 volt DC reach to PLC input, with I0.2 address. Finally, when the program turn on its output with Q0.0 address, PLC enable its Q0.0 output. Then this 24 volt DC can reach to K contactor, which turn the three phase motor on. Let's start TIA software to do this project. TIA software has two layout. It starts with portal view. In portal view, we can quickly decide what we want to do and call up necessary tool. In other words, the portal view is more suitable to create or manage projects. But the project view is a structured view of all components of the project. Here you can program CPUs, configure hardware, and etc. with their details. Let's get familiar with portal view. This is the start part. And below that, here are five portal, which depends on the products that have been installed. We should open, create, or upgrade a project to active these portals. Now click on create new project. Write a name for your project. Then, write here your name as programmer and then click here. Let's see what these five portal are. In the devices and networks portal, we can configure the hardware of our PLC. Here, we can select our hardware components, position them and set their properties. If several devices are networked, their connections can be defined here. The PLC programming portal, contains all required tools, for generating the user program for PLC stations. In the motion and technology, other automation technology such as motion or PID control can be inserted, configured, and used in the project. In the visualization portal, we can generate the operator control and monitoring desktop for HMI stations. Using the online and diagnostics portal, we can connect a programming device to a PLC, transfer and debug programs and detect faults in the automation system. Let's start with device configuration, so click here. As you see, there isn't any devices. So click here to add a device. Here is three type of devices. Select controllers type. Siemens company controllers which can be programmed, are listed here. I'm using CPU 1212 CDC slash DC slash DC, which is in Somatic S71200 family. I can find it here. Here are three article numbers. My PLC article number is 6ES7212-1AE40-0XB0. Also you can select this item unspecified PLC. Then start programming and after that come back and configure your hardware. If you don't have any controllers, don't worry. You can select any type of CPU, because the programming rules of these controllers are similar and also you are able to test your programs with a simulator in TIA software. Now click on add, now it will take a couple of seconds to add this configuration to your Siemens TIA. Well, after adding the CPU, TIA software switch to project view to hardware configuration with its details. If you want to come back to portal view, click here. Ok, until now, some features of TIA software, definition of a project and some points of portal view, have been told. In the next video, we'll complete and test this project, in the project view of TIA software.